very good morning student welcome to our physics class today topic is bernoulli's theorem what is the statement of bernoulli's theorem so bernoulli's theorem statement is sum of pressure energy and kinetic energy and the potential energy per unit mass of an incompressible non viscous fluid in a streamlined flow remains a constant pressure energy kinetic energy and potential energy. what is mean by kinetic energy energy possessed by an object by virtue of its motion what is mean by potential energy energy possessed by an object by virtue of its state of rest so what is the formula for kinetic energy kinetic energy formula is of mv square then the potential energy formula is mgh so these energies what is the formula for the pressure energy pressure p is equal to force by area so force acting per unit area is nothing but pressure energy force acting per unit area the formula for the pressure is nothing but f by a formula for the pressure is f by a so sum of these energies per unit mass which kinds of energy pressure energy kinetic energy and potential energy per unit mass of an incompressible non viscous fluid fluid in a streamlined flow what is mean by streamlined flow steady flow is nothing but streamlined flow steady flow is nothing but streamlined flow so incompressible non viscous fluid in a streamlined flow non viscous fluid means viscosity means the the relation that is the frictional force between the two different layers of the liquid so this condition is, uh, the, this condition is very very important first condition is incompressible liquid then non viscous fluid then steam like flow so sum of pressure energy and kinetic energy and potential energy per unit mass of an incompressible non viscous fluid in a steam like flow remains a constant remains a constant so the formula for the bernoulli's principle is p by rho plus 1 by 2 v square p by rho plus 1 by 2 v square plus gh is equal to constant p by rho plus 1 by 2 v square plus gh is equal to constant this is the formula for the bernoulli's principle the next step of bernoulli's principle is here yeah, proof let us consider a flow flow of liquid through a flow of liquid through a pipe ab let v be the volume of the liquid v is the volume of the liquid let me consider this is the pipe here from the ground the placement of pipe is certain height from the ground this height is represent h2 this i is represent h1 this is the area of cross section a1 then this is the area of cross section a2 this point is considered as a, a this point is considered as a b now when the liquid flowing through the pipe entering to the a point and leaving from the b point what are the difference happen during the flow of fluid this is very very important so let v be the volume volume means area in i this is the area cross sectional area and this i is nothing but breadth is considered as a i so volume is equal to area in i so let capital v is represent volume of the liquid when it enters this point is considered as a a means when it enters a in a time t which is equal to the volume of the liquid leaving b in the same time so once again repeat when it enters a in a time t which is equal to the volume of the liquid leaving b in the same time let a small a a b a and b a be the area of cross section of the tube velocity of the liquid and the pressure exerted by the liquid at a respectively let the force exerted by the liquid here at a 
force, already we know the formula for the force from the pressure energy formula. Pressure is equal to force by area. Now rearrange the equation, we get force is equal to pressure in the area. So FA is equal to PA into AA. Distance travelled by the liquid in time T is from the velocity formula. Do you know the formula for velocity? Velocity is equal to displacement by time taken. So displacement is equal to velocity into time taken. So displacement D is equal to VA into T. Therefore, what then W in at A point? What is the formula for the work then? What then W is equal to force centric distance. So FA force acting on this point, then liquid move particular distance. So force already we know the value of force, FA is equal to PA into AA. So just substituting the value of force, the equation can be written as PA into AA, then displacement is represented VA into T. Small d is represent VA into T. So just substituting the value FA into D, D uh, FA into D can be written as PA AA VA into T. Here, but A V A A V A T that means A of transaction at A, then velocity at A and the time taken is equal to the A A into D because B, uh, D is represent V A into T. V A into T can be written as small d. So A A into D that means area into volume is nothing but area into height. Area into height is nothing but volume. So AA and D, AA, that means AA means area of cross section of the A point and D is the displacement, that is a distance means considered as a height. So area in the height is nothing but volume. So volume of the liquid entering at A point, volume of the liquid entering at A point. Thus the work done is the energy, pressure energy, work done is the pressure energy at A point. W is equal to FA into D. FA is considered FA D is equal to the PA into D because pressure into volume is nothing but work done. So pressure and volume which is equal to work done. W is equal to FA into D is equal to PA into V because V is equal to AA into D. Then next equation is pressure energy per unit volume at A is equal to pressure energy divided by volume. Pressure energy divided by volume. P A V divided by V. So V V cancel with each other is equal to P A. Then the pressure energy per unit mass at A is equal to pressure energy divided by mass. Pressure energy per unit mass is equal to pressure energy divided by mass. Pressure energy is nothing but PA into V divided by mass M. Just here in the equation, we get PA divided by M by V. Mass by volume can be written as density. So, because the formula is density is equal to mass by volume. So, PA divided by M by V is equal to PA divided by rho. The next equation is, next step is, since M is mass of the liquid entering at A. Mass of the liquid entering at A is given time. Therefore, the pressure energy liquid at A is liquid at A is EPA. That is the pressure energy is equal to at a point. Pressure energy at A point is equal to PA into V. Is equal to PA into V into multiple and divided by mass. Multiple and divided by mass m divided by m. So the equation can be written as m into p a divided by rho because mass by volume is nothing but density. So that is why the equation can be written as m into p a divided by rho. So potential energy of the liquid at a p e a is equal to already we know the formula for the potential energy. Potential energy formula is mass into gravity into height. That means m g s this point is considered as A, that is why MGHA. Due to the flow of liquid, the kinetic energy of the liquid at A, kinetic energy A is equal to of MDA square. Therefore, the total energy due to the flow of liquid at A, that means total energy is equal to pressure energy 
plus kinetic energy plus potential energy. So pressure total energy is equal to pressure energy plus kinetic energy plus potential energy. Now substituting the all the value of the pressure energy, kinetic energy, potential energy. Pressure energy formula is M P A divided by O plus kinetic energy, kinetic energy formula is R M B A square plus potential energy formula is M G H A. Similarly, like A B and B P and P P at point P. Similarly, the total energy at point E B is equal to M into P B divided by rho plus one by two M B B square plus mg hb from the law of conservation of the energy ea is equal to eb law of conservation of energy ea is equal to eb what is the statement of law of conservation of energy law of conservation of energy is nothing but total energy before entering which is equal to total energy leaving from the b point so substituting the value of ea and eb get The next step, M P A divided by rho plus one by two M P A square plus M G H A, which is equal to M D P P divided by rho plus one by two M B B square plus M G H B. Then, thus the above equation can be written as P by rho G. That means flow divided by acceleration due to gravity because the flow of liquid fully based on that. Acceleration due to gravity. That is why the equation, full equation divided by the gravitational acceleration due to gravitation. So the equation becomes P by rho g plus one by two v square divided by g. One by two v square divided by g plus g h a can be written as divided by g means g g cancel. So yes, so p by rho g plus one by two v square divided by g plus h is equal to constant. So this is the uh, equation for the Bernoulli's theorem. Very very important equation. So this above equation is the consequence of the conservation of energy, which is true until it is no loss of energy due to the friction. But in practice some energy is lost due to the friction friction means when the liquid flowing through this pipe means the solid uh, uh, solid kind of this pipe uh, friction with the liquid so the, uh, some amount of energy lost during the uh, flow flowing time flow of the liquid time this arises due to the fact that in a flow fluid flow the layers Flowing with different velocities, exert frictional force on each other. This loss of energy is generally converted into heat energy. Generally converted into heat energy. Therefore, Bernoulli's relation is strictly valid for fluid with zero viscosity, zero viscosity or non-viscous liquids. Notice that. When the liquid flows through a horizontal pipe, then this is the Venturi meter, the great example of the Bernoulli's principle, Bernoulli's theorem. So the equation becomes the height is equal. That is the that means the pipe is placed in the horizontal position means the h value is that is the ground which is placed on the ground in the horizontal position. What is the height? The h is equal to zero because there is no height between the Ground at the pipe. So h is equal to zero means the equation becomes p by rho g plus one by two v square divided by g. V square divided by g is equal to constant. So this is the another one condition of Bernoulli's theorem. The next important question is describe the construction and working of Venturi meter. Venturi meter and obtain an equation for the velocity of liquid. Flowing per second through a wider entry entry of the tube. The answer is venturi meter. What is the uses of venturi meter? First, first of all, we should know about the uses of venturi meter. Venturi meter is a device it is used to measure the rate of flow. It is used to measure the rate of flow or say flow speed. Liquid flow speed. We can calculate the 
flow of speed of liquid with the help of the venturi meter of the incompressible fluid flowing through a pipe it works on the principle on bernoulli's theorem it consists of two wider tube a and a dash so showing shown your figure given your textbook there are two different cross sectional area a and b two end of the pipe is nothing but represent a and a dash that is the cross sectional area of the two end of the pipe a and a dash with the cross sectional area connected by a narrow tube that is a b tube name is called b why the cross sectional area a a narrow meter in the form of u shaped tube manometer u shaped tube is called as a manometer manometer in the form of u shaped tube is also attached attached between the wider two wider narrow tube the manometer contains a liquid of density rho m the liquid density is rho m let the p1 be the pressure of the fluid at a wider region of the tube that is a wider region a of the tube let us assume that the fluid of density rho flow from the pipe with the speed v1 flow from the pipe with the speed v1 and into narrow region narrow region its speed increases to v2 because when the area of cross section is decreases the velocity of the flow is increases so that is why the narrow shape of the tube it is a b it has the more flow of velocity that is the velocity value is increases while crossing through the b shape that is a very narrow shape of the tube b so according to the bernoulli's principle increase in speed is accompanied by a decrease in the fluid pressure in tube at the narrow region of the tube b therefore the pressure difference between the tube a and b is noted by measuring the height difference del p is equal to what is the pressure difference del p is equal to p1 minus p2 between the surface of the manometer tube from the equation equation of continuity we can easily that a b1 is equal to a b2 which means that using bernoulli's theorem v2 is equal to, this is very very important point children this is a very very important formula please note it v2 is equal to a divided by a v1 capital a divided by small a into v1 so using bernoulli's principle what is the last step of bernoulli's principle p1 plus rho v1 square divided by 2 p1 plus rho v1 square divided by 2 is equal to p2 plus rho v2 square divided by 2 which is equal to p2 plus rho 1 by 2 capital a divided by small a v1 the whole square from the above equation the pressure energy that is the pressure difference del p is equal, what is the formula for the pressure difference del p is equal to p1 minus p2 so it is equal to when we substituting the value of p1 and p2 we get rho into v1 square divided by 2 into a square capital a square minus small a square divided by small a square that the speed of flow of the fluid at the wide end of the tube a that means v1 square is equal to 2 into del p into a square divided by rho into a square minus small a square so speed of flow of fluid at the wide end of the tube a which is equal to the square term goes to right hand side means root of 2 del p into a square divided by rho into a square minus small a square the volume of the liquid flowing out per second v is equal to a v1 which is equal to a into root of what is the value of v1 root of 2 into del p a square divided by rho a square rho into a square minus small a square which is equal to the a square term removed from the uh, root term means the square and the root cancel so small a capital a root of 2 into del p divided by rho into a square minus capital a square minus small a square this is the equation for the venturi meter equation for the venturi meter next video let me discuss about the applications of bernoulli's theorem applications of bernoulli's theorem in this video two questions 
are very very important one is the bernoulli theorem this is a very important five mark question then the venturi meter is important three mark question children very good very good children thank you very much for your cooperation